Hi friends and family. Um, I wasn't going to make this video until I'm good and ready, but CJ decided that he wants harmony with the chicken thighs that I'm going to be cooking because it tastes really good to cook with the chicken when the chicken almost done, chicken thighs almost done. But anyhow, I had to drink, I had to open them and drain them. So I usually could get one can of Y Harmony and one can of Golden Harmony. And uh, I noticed that I have found this, I found this can that supposedly ex expired November of last year. And I got this can that expired next year, February. But when I opened it, I noticed the big difference in the amount of Harmony in there. You see the white one right there? And here's the golden one. You see where where it stopped on the grooves for the yellow, uh, the golden harmony. The white one is way below the top groove. All right, friends. I'm um, the last time I made a video on the harmony, the small cans of harmony like this, and they went from sixty nine cents. To 99 cents a can and the content went from right around the, the, the top line here all the way down to this is still pretty good but the one that one that come uh, like made later that I bought later actually didn't, I didn't even give me half a can of harmony but then I discover these big cans at Walmart for like around three dollars a can so I figure, let me check the difference. So anyhow, we decided that we liked the harmony pretty good, and it didn't raise our blood sugar very much, and it didn't make us tired and sleepy or heart palpitations. So I say, well, you know what? I like this better than those small cans. So anyhow, I bought this. This is 110 ounce per can, and I already opened it and drained the water out. So now I'm going to... I'm gonna try to see how much content, the solid content, the real harmony. So anyhow, I have opened the can before, and so what I did is I go ahead and drain the water out, and I take this empty can, which is exactly the same thing, make sure it's zero out, and check the weight. So the weight is 10.05 ounce. So I documented that, Take that away. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I need to zero out my scale. So that way, when I weigh this other can, it's already deduct the can weigh. So that gave me 68.61 ounce. And so I document that too. So now I know the content of this can weighs 68, almost 69 ounce. Now, I want to check these. These were 15.5 ounce can. So now I weigh it after drained. And I lost four, about four and, a three, four and a quarter ounce. Right? So since I don't have an empty can, so I'll just empty that out. And weigh that can. So that's almost two ounce. Now I just take another container and zero that out to take the, the this container away and I put my how many in there I got 8.75 ounce out of that and it, it actually is still pretty wet but that's okay I could deal with that so I get 8.78 ounce out of that so what you want to do if you, so did you need to document the can weight and whatever? Uh, can weight is not important. The, what's important is what you get out of it. Okay. Now, okay, like the you said, on the, on the can, you get how much? Oh, it's 15.5. Uh -huh. So basically, you get a little over half a can, what it's worth. Uh-huh. Right? And, and it's almost you, two ounces for the can, right? Yeah, almost. Right. So what you do is uh, this is only a three... This The big can is only $3. And now... The, the larger can is basically one dollar because 99 cents uh -huh. you know what's the difference right um, but if you look at the weight 
So a point seven eight. Oh wait, do it the wrong way. Divide it sixty eight point five seven. So that would be. Say nine. Wow, oh, so that's equals to five cans, you know, basically. So one of the big cans equals to nine small cans. Nine small cans. Yes. Okay. So instead of paying three dollars, if you buy a big can, mm -hmm. you're gonna wind up. You paying pay nine dollars for uh, almost the exact same amount, mm -hmm. right? So, so would you pay nine dollars or would you pay three dollars? You save okay, sixty-six percent. So what, what would you suggest doing once you open that big can, though? Okay, so now I got the big can, mm -hmm. and I'll take all my little jars that I could find, uh -huh. right? Your okra can, and there's a, these are, I think these are the pickle one, and then I have some uh, sauerkraut jar. Mm -hmm. And you take that, and you put, put your funnel there. Oh, oh, oh. That's all right. Oops. So you fill it up. And you fill them up, and then when I drain the liquid out, I kept the liquid. So I reintroduced the liquid. And I could put them in the refrigerator for later use. Or you could put it in the dehydrator and dehydrate them. There you go. That's how you keep them. Nice. You know, okay. and like I say, I mean, we've been eating <laughs> how many for the last five days, six yeah. days, and and I ask you what you want and what you say. You actually don't mind well, eating it. Well, what you right? asked me was, what do you think would go with the uh, the chicken? And I said, I don't know. Maybe the same thing that's going with everything else that we've been eating. Yes. And that's been brisket, um, the chicken today. What else? Um, I think I've done it. What else did we eat with? Pork chop. Yeah. Uh, Kalua pork. I mean, it's just anything, any meat that you eat with it. Yes, because how many actually goes well with pretty much anything? It's a good compliment, uh, side dish. Yeah. And um, by stir frying it with the chop, chop uh, uh, carrots and chopped celery, mm -hmm. and lots of lots of green onion and garlic yep. and a little bit uh, cayenne pepper does it mm. and then you know you take you save the pan juice you cook that in the pan juice that helps even more so anyhow that's how you stretch your dollar unless you don't think that you work hard enough for your money and the thing the thing that you're pointing out also is that these are not even full cans that's right these i mean what was last year you said it was it was almost full yeah and then each year it's getting less and less yeah but it's more water more liquid in the can, and mm -hmm. it's getting more expensive, mm -hmm. but you're getting less, less product. Yes, it's called, it's called, uh, what was it? Uh, not deflation, but, uh, oh, no, I can't remember the word, but it, there's, a, there's a special word for it, stagnation or something like that. Hmm. No, um, oh, sh shrink. Inflation, shrinkflation. Oh, yeah. okay. Shrink it shrinks, but it, it increases the increase price. The price yeah. yeah. You know, so basically, you know, these things can be 
be kept for a long term. Mm -hmm. You know, like this one expires January 20, 2023. Right. So while well, they cheap, I buy it because you know, we know gonna, we're going to use it. Now, don't go buy things that you're not going to use. Yeah. And, and make sure you know how to use it. Right. Because when I first buy it, I didn't know what I was going to do. And I didn't want to open the big can because it's like thinking, how am I going to preserve it? Mm -hmm. You know? But now that I opened up my first can and we wind up eating it in one week, well, still, that that's a good price that if it, that is your side dish beside your meat. And $3 lasts you a whole week of, of side dish for two people. How many meals did this make? To, to include you snacking? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's it's also my favorite snack. If uh -huh. I'm, I'm still hungry or if I feel like I want a snack and I still have some left over, I just went ahead and, and, and snack on that. Yes, it's very good. I'm just thinking that maybe I should dehydrate those that I already stir fry, mm -hmm. that is already flavored, seasoned, mm -hmm. and then dehydrate them for snacking mm -hmm. yeah, in I the future. Yeah, I try that too. You know, I'll do that Have next you already time. done a video on cooking these? Uh, how yeah. Many? yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we did. Yeah, yeah, we did that already. So just, you know, refer back to uh, how many, yeah. mm -hmm. how to cook it. And you could put anything you want in it. You could put, you know, you could probably cook it in your pot roast if you want. And, and then it will soak up the flavor of pot roast. And you don't even have to stir fry it. You know, you could you could put it in your in your chicken, you know. Like here. Come, let's show you this. Like right now. You see this this fried, you know, I'm pin frying pin pin frying these chicken and it's got a lot of a lot of liquid in there. Mm -hmm. And I could put that in, in there and really don't have to do hardly any seasoning and it'll it'll pick right. up all the flavor. Now when you were um you were processing the uh, the um hominy, you were doing something to it, right? Oh you were yeah, like yeah. Pulling something. Yeah, like these each piece, you can see this right here. That's not really. That's the almost like a stem of the, the when kind it of attached, where it was attached to the, uh, to the cob. Yeah, and it's like it sometimes can be hard, uh -huh. and it's not very appetizing look. Yeah. So I go through the the hassle of pulling them off. Yeah. But you don't have to. They are edible. I'm just picky. Yes. Okay. You and know? I appreciate that. You know, like like that yellow corn one, and this is a white corn one, and you can see right there. Right. So I just kind of put my thumb there and thumbnail there, and then pull it off. You know, so that you know it don't look, you know, it looks unappetizing to me. So I pull it off like that. Yeah. You know, again, see right there, that little tip. Yep. Take it off. It's 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 work, but you know, I I look at it as a therapeutic. Yeah. You know, sit there doing nothing, watching. YouTube, you know, whatever, and just keep at it. You know, of course, when you're in a hurry and that, that, that won't work, then, then you just dump it in. Yeah, right. You know? So that's it. All righty. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome.